Glock. Uh, I'm a board certified neurosurgeon. I retired from active practice. Now I do primarily uh, theoretical research in neurosciences. Uh, there's no modern evidence whatsoever that fluoridating water reduces cavities at all. So you have to ask the question, well, why are you still fluoridating water? Now not only does that uh, produce lethargy, apathy, uh, weakness, tiredness in adults, but if you do it in pregnant women, the babies are born with low IQs and they never recover. We're developing a society because of all of these different toxins known to affect brain function. We're seeing a society that not only has a lot more people of lower IQ, but a lot fewer people of higher IQ. In other words, a dumbing down, a chemical dumbing down of society. So everyone's sort of mediocre. That leaves them dependent on government because they can't excel. A farmer has 15 sheep and all but eight died. How many are left? A farmer has 15 sheep and all but eight died. 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 Yeah. How many are left? Oh. <laughs> they all died. That's what you mean. Name the month that we get the least sleep. I want to say December. <laughs> um, July. <laughs> July? January. February. She got it right. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> so tall. <laughs> okay. Okay. All but eight died. Okay. All but eight died. Yeah. Oh. But eight died. We've got some rather profound problems with fluoridation that are now well documented uh, uh, from laboratories all over the world. Uh, without any question. For instance, one of them Dr. Varner did uh, out of Europe in which he looked at 0.5 parts per million, which is half of what's put in water, and found significant death of neurons in the brain and damage to the blood vessels that supply blood to the brain. Spell psychiatrist. <laughs> you kidding? You trying to find Google? <laughs> TV. No, no. Um, P.S. C-H-Y-C-I-A-S-T? P-S-Y-C-H-I-A-T-R-I-S-T. And hey now, somebody know how to spell. P-S-Y-C-H-O-L-O-G-I-S-T. P-H-Y-S-C-H-I-A-R-C-I-S-T? P S Y Kyatrus? <laughs> if eight died, it would have seven left. But all but eight died. Right, right. That means they all died, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yet we have a government that is still pushing as hard as they can, using taxpayer money, to get all the water supply in the United States floor data. Fluoride reduces reproduction. It influences sperm mobility. When all these things are known and in the scientific literature and peer-reviewed drunk, why is the public being kept in the dark? There's only two choices you have uh, in this debate. Either they're incredibly stupid and incompetent or criminal, or they're doing it on purpose for a reason, which goes back to the Rockefeller design of human engineering. Oh yes, we may, we may harm a lot of people, we may kill some babies, we may create some new diseases, uh, you know, we may uh, wipe out whole populations at a time, but that's the price we have to pay to create the new vision, the new society. A truck driver is going down a one-way street the wrong way and passes at least 10 cops. Why is he not caught? He a construction worker. <laughs> questions that make me like dumb um because he's going the other way because mm. he's, <laughs> he's a cop because all the cops are facing that way he's walking, he's walking. <laughs> the eight sheep were left eight sheep was eight left. left all but eight died oh all oh, but eight died that's true wow <laughs> okay that's true <laughs> all right thank you we have these people of lower iq who are totally dependent then we have this mass of people who are going to believe anything they're told because they can't really think clearly.
and very few people of very high IQ who have good cognitive function who can figure this all out. And that's what they want. So, you know, you can kind of piece it together as to why they are so insistent in spending so many hundreds of millions of dollars of propaganda money to dumb down society.